Here we are again, Dan from Home, Home Leisure. I'm gonna teach you a little bit what I would teach you right when I deliver your tub. So when I leave, he goes, what did he say? Well, now we're gonna have a little video to allow you to understand exactly. So one of the things I always tell my customers, um, light green is clean, and a clean filter is a clean tub. So in this video here, I'm going to put this into Maintenance, standby, and you'll see cancel or drain. Give it a second to shut down, and I'm going to show you that. So, a clean filter is a clean tub. Take your filter out once a week. I know in, in the, here in the menu it's going to tell you once every 30 days, or whatever, clean your filter. A clean filter is a clean tub. As a tub owner, I take my filter out once a week, rinse it out, put it back in. Take it out the next week, rinse it out, put it back in. After about four to five weeks, depending on the uses of your tub, you're going to, oh, it went into standby. You're gonna take it out, rinse it off, put it into a cleaner solution for cleaning, let it sit overnight. The next day, you're gonna rinse that all off and let it dry for four to five weeks. Take your new filter, put it in. So, loosen up on this great little tab. We're going to loosen up the air bleeder. We are going to take the filter, and that's where the filter is. Weekly rinse that off. Right here is your bromine dispenser. As you can tell, as you turn it, you can, I already have one in there. Just take your bromine and put it in there. Once you put three, two to three tabs in there, you just take and you turn it. And you see it turn, it's gonna make a big opening. If you find that your bromine is always too high, just lower the, opening. I'm going to leave it on high. I always leave it on high for people. Take that, put it back in, push it down, and tighten it up. One finger, tighten, no more. Same as this bleeder screw, only snug it up, but right now I'm going to leave it open. That's your bromine. I'm going to press cancel and get things going here. Light green is clean is the other thing I love to teach people. You're not going to get in trouble very much if you always have bromine in your tub. This is from a water truck, so they might have a little bit of bromine, I'm not sure. But anyways, here's how you test your test strip. One, two, take it out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Starting at the bottom. This is where the alkalinity is. It's in this area right here. It needs to be brought up. The pH is right in this area right here. It needs to be brought up. This is for your chlorine. And this is where I, I want you to make sure. See where it's yellow? Light green is clean. Remember that saying. So where it says spa, you always want to be between the three and five range right there. So we're not there. Okay, so we need to bring that up. So let's do that really quickly. This bromine is, oh, we're gonna turn that off because the air came out, the water came out. So now this want this to be able to be safe. So what I'm going to do to make that safe, I'm going to start all my jets up. I am going to make this light green and this size tub is going to take exactly that much, about three quarters of a cap, to make it light green. So now if I come out to my tub and I say, oh, how's my bromine doing? It's going to do just perfect. Let's do that right now. There we go. Get that a little couple seconds there. I know right now if I touch that off and that off, and I reach in one, two, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and I'm right in the area that I want to be. So that is where your bromine should always be before you ever get into your tub. If you have a clean filter, and if you always have bromine in your, in your tub, it's safe to get in. You're not going to run into too many troubles. So, you have something now in there killing the germs. Think of Pac-Man. When Pac-Man goes around and grabs things, and he grabs a hold of the germs, he's hanging on to them. But that's all he's doing is hanging on to the germs. We need something to break up those germs, rejuvenate the bromine, and get all this stuff out of your tub, your sweats, your oils, 
all that stuff that's in there, the foam is getting too high or whatever, this is going to break it down. What is it? It's called Minerlux Oxygen. Okay? So, take a package of this once a week and place it in your tub. Okay? So what I do is I turn it on pump one, two, and there. Anytime I'm adding my Minerlux products, I turn my air off. I'm gonna turn my air off. It's not so bad on the oxygen, but on the, uh, the cubes. We'll get to that in a second. That's quite important. So, don't let this hit you in the face. Here's a pair of scissors, which I don't have right here in my hand, but I'm gonna open this really carefully. Away from the wind blowing in your eyes, pour it in the center of your toe. Once a week, one package, or after a big party. You had a whole bunch of people, the hockey team showed up, and they jumped into your tub, and you go, what, did you just put in my tub? As soon as they get out, they're no longer using the tub, put one of these in to break down what they put in your tub. Breaking down the bromine, rejuvenating it, shooting it in the air, have this cover off for at least a half an hour, okay? It says on the thing, 15 minutes, but I like to have at least a half an hour, let that stuff do what it needs to do, and get it out of there. You have something now, keeping you sanitized. We have something now keeping the, the bromine and the, and the foam and everything out of there. But we don't have anything in the tub yet to clean it. Once a week, take one of these cubes and put it in your basket. You don't have to take the basket out or anything. We're just going to push it in. So where this is a brand new water fill, we are going to take and put two in. Okay? Once a week, you're going to use this. If you didn't use your tub for a whole week, I would not put one of these in. I put it in the following week. If your tub's not getting used that much at all, like maybe a couple times a week by two people, I go every 10 days to two weeks using this cube. All the directions are on the side. Just read those up because it's very important to let you know these things are powerful. So, reach in here, drop it to the back. Reach in here, drop it to the back. Once a week, one cube, that's all you put in. Or, like I said, every 10 to 14 days, depending on the use of your tub. There you have it. Right now, when this water reaches its point of uh, the customer would love it, 100, 102, 104, whatever, they're gonna be getting into this, and it's right now safe to be able to use this hot tub. PH. There's another video that we put out when we install a tub where Jen is talking to our customers, but your pH needs to be either up or down. pH up, pH minus. Your alkalinity needs to go up a little bit, as you've seen on the test strip. So we have total alkalinity plus. The balance and hardness of your water. If it's really, really soft water, guaranteed you're going to get a lot of foam. So the total hardness of your water is going to bring it up. So those are the things that you're going to do weekly on your water. Balance your total the hardness of your water normally doesn't change. Once I put some in here, unless you fill it, the tub back up again, or if you're adding water from evaporation and things, you're going to add a little bit of this also, just to bring your heart, total hardness of your water. The rest, don't do it daily. Do it weekly. I find people, when they start doing it daily, they're adding, subtracting, adding, subtracting. Your pH can go up and down in a day. So follow the directions on that. Listen to the video that Jen has out there for you. This is a floater that we leave with you just in case you don't want to use your bromine in there. We can leave it, put your bromine in here, adjust it right here to high, low, medium, slow, and all that good stuff. You can adjust it for that and let that float around. Take that string off because it'll only get caught up in the system. There you have it. Light green is clean, a weekly maintenance. So this here, well, is your daily thing. This is your weekly thing, right here and here. That is it for chemicals.